What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how I created this teleport effect. I learned this technique from the Film Riot channel, so I'll leave their video linked in the description. So here's my raw video clip. After filming the first clip, I then filmed the same angle without the car in it so that I can use to edit this effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add a marker on the video clip where I want this effect to happen by pressing M on the keyboard. And then I'm going to go over to my effects tab and add on the draw mask effect. And then I'm going to draw a loose mask around the car. Once a mask is created, I'm going to select all of the points and then right click and smooth them out. And then I'm going to go to the view and just click original so that I can see the background and the car just to help me with the masking. And then I'm going to hit the keyframe buttons on position, rotation, scale and control points. And then I'm going to flick through the video clip and just track the mask to the car. And for this effect, I think I masked out about between 15 to 20 frames. So now I'm going to copy and paste my video clip and just make sure the view is set back to composite and not original so that I can see the mask. And then I'm just going to bring the feather up on the mask. And you may need to tweak the feather throughout the whole effect as you go when you're editing this. And then you should be left with something that looks like this. So now I'm going to bring on my blank video clip and just create a freeze frame by pressing Shift and H. And then I'm going to bring the freeze frame over my video clip and just press V to disable it. And then I'm going to select the bottom video clip and add a tracker and track the background of the video clip. And I'm gonna use this tracker to hold the blank frame in position. So I'm going to create the marker and then put that marker on something in the background and then click analyze. So once the tracker is done, I'm going to re-enable my freeze frame and then go up to the tracker window, make sure the tracker source is a video clip underneath it and just choose the object track that we just created. And then I'm going to bring that freeze frame underneath my video clip and then move the position of it so that it matches the video and so that everything lines up. And then I'm going to add a directional blur just so it blends in with the blur on the video. So then we should be left with something like this, the subject coming into frame and then it should just disappear completely. Okay, so next step, I'm going to bring in an adjustment layer. If you don't have adjustment layers and I'll leave a link to it down below, it's a free download, a free plugin you can use for Final Cut Pro. And I'm going to add that in between the top and middle video clip. And then I'm going to copy and paste the top video clip and add a Gaussian blur onto that and then disable it by pressing V. And I'm going to use this as like a distortion map so we can distort the background. So I'm going to add the bump map effect onto the adjustment layer. This effect doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it down below if you want to use this. You can also use the underwater effect, which comes free in Final Cut Pro. It gives similar results, but I just really like this bump map effect. So I'm going to click the drop zone and just select the disabled layer. If I adjust the amount of distortion, you can see how it distorts the video around the car. So now I'm going to keyframe this from zero up to 10 and then back to zero after the car has disappeared. And these settings are gonna be different for every video clip. So now I'm going to add another bump map effect to the top layer. I added the top layer into the drop zone to add some more distortion to the car. You can add different layers into the drop zone to get different distortions, but it seems to work with the car layer or a different layer of the video clip. And then I'm also going to keyframe this from zero up and then back down to zero again. And the settings on this will also be different for every video clip. But when I'm adding the keyframes, I'm trying to make the car kind of shrink into itself. Next step, I'm going to add a glow effect. And for this, I'm going to use this neon effect. I'll leave it linked down below. There are other glow effects in Final Cut Pro, but this one just seems to work pretty well for this effect. And then I'm just going to change the settings on the position so that the glow is around the car. And then I'm going to keyframe the threshold and also the mix so that it, the glow starts from zero and increases over time. And I'm also gonna change the color of the glow to a nice blue color. And then I'm going to extend this video clip and keyframe the background opacity on this neon effect so that the car disappears. And then also keyframe the glow effect so, so that it sort of disperses once the car has disappeared. And then I'm going to add another bump map effect and keyframe this so that it disperses the glow effect even more. So now I'm going to add another adjustment layer to add like a bulge effect to the background. And I'm just gonna keyframe this and change the settings so that the bulge effect stays in one place on the frame. 
And to get the bouncing effect, I'm going to add a keyframe, skip two frames, turn it down, skip two frames, turn it up again, and, and do this a few times so that it gets that bouncing effect on the background. And then I'm just going to keyframe the position of the bulge so that it stays in one place in the background. Next, I'm going to add another glow effect and I'm using this hologram effect again because it just gives a really nice glow. But you can also use the glint effect that I've used in the past or another glow effect in Final Cut Pro. But I'm just going to add this so it gives it a nice kind of gradient glow around the car. And yeah, that's pretty much all the effects I used. There are a couple of extra steps that I use at the end, but let's get on to the next video clip so that we can do the second part of this teleporting effect. So on this video clip, I didn't actually get the shot without the car in frame, so I didn't get a clean background. So what I did was masked out the car and then copy and pasted the layer and made each layer smaller than the other one to create like a fake background. And it doesn't look great, but I think with a quick effect like this, it kind of works. I then selected all of those and added them into a compound clip. And then after this, I just followed the same steps that I did with the first video clip. The only thing I did different was add a second mask to the car to slowly reveal it. And then I added a mask load to this to create like a portal effect. And I think that turned out pretty cool. An effect like this takes a lot of trial and error to get the right settings to make it look how you want to look. Okay, so for the final steps, I added an adjustment layer so that I could add my color grade. And then I added some motion blur to smooth out all of the distortion effects. And I think it turned out pretty cool in the end. I'll leave a link to all the effects I used down in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.